In this video, I'm going to show you how to find missing values when you're dealing with the tangent segment of a circle. So this 12 is a tangent segment, just barely touching the circle at a single point. And one thing you need to know is that a tangent segment is always going to be perpendicular to the radius. So we do have a right angle right here. Speaking of the radius, notice that we have two radii here. So even though it's not marked or anything, we know the length of this line. Every radius in a circle is going to be the same. So if this uh, black radius over here is 9, then this red radius right here is also 9. So that's some key information that we're going to need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this x instead of question mark. And this is the thing that we are supposed to find. All right, let me just call this x. Okay, so um, this is a right triangle, so the Pythagorean theorem has to hold. So uh, I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem right now that says leg squared plus leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So of course the legs are the 12 and the 9. So we have 12 squared plus 9 squared is equal to. The hypotenuse is all of this. So the hypotenuse is the x and the 9. So the hypotenuse is x plus 9. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, uh, we should be able to solve this for x very easily. 12 squared is 144. 9 squared is 81. And uh, for now, let's just leave this as x plus 9 squared. All right, do not FOIL this out. This is the easiest way is just to leave it alone. Uh, 144 plus 81 is 225. So the easiest thing to do is to take the square root of both sides to sort of unsquare this and get rid of the exponent. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to just take the square root of both sides like this. So that unsquares things. Uh, the square root of 225 is 15. And then uh, these will cancel out and just leave you with the x plus 9. Right, the square root unsquares this. So of course to get x by itself we're just going to subtract 9 from both sides. And we quickly see that x is equal to 6.